Hi guys, this is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I have a thrift haul video for you guys. I have found so many awesome things over the last few months. I have seriously felt like I've hit the jackpot. There are just so many things. I'm actually going to split this video into two parts because there are so many things. I have literally found so much stuff for such a good price and I don't know what is going on lately because this hardly ever happens. Especially in our little town, there's actually hardly ever like good things at thrift stores. Some of this stuff is from some online Instagram thrift stores, but the majority of it is from local Montana thrift stores. So this is part one of my thrift haul. I'm going to be showing some different pictures and decor and there's a few Christmas items that I had out for during Christmas time. It is after Christmas now so I'm starting to take some stuff down. Unfortunately I wish I could just leave it up all year. But all this stuff just really goes along with my style. It's kind of farmhousey, kind of vintage, antique style. So anyway let's just get right into this haul. Here we'll start with the first stack of pictures that I've found. I've actually been on the lookout for a lot of pictures, like more farmhouse decor items, because as our house gets finished, the walls feel very blank and empty. Before it was remodeled and before it looked really good, I didn't really have as much of a desire to put things on the walls because it didn't look good with like a crappy wall underneath it. But now that the walls are finished, I've been just having this strong desire to make the house look beautiful and fill in the blank spaces in the walls. So this has been a big focal point for me when I'm searching for thrifted items is pictures. And I found some really good ones that I'm quite happy with. The first one is this cool painting. This looks like it's actually hand, hand painted. It, like, it has the texture. It's such a cool, it has such a cool texture to it. It looks just really vintage and kind of feminine and antique and it just really goes well with the style. It has kind of a, a burlap around the frame here. So I, I like the frame and the pictures because sometimes I'll really like the frame style but I won't like what's in the picture and sometimes I like the picture but not what's in the frame. But with a lot of this stuff I actually liked both of them which was nice. This is a pretty decent size and this was actually from one of my online thrift shops and it's worked out perfectly to put, the, put it in our bedroom. I have a perfect spot for it. And that is definitely one of my favorite pictures. I feel like it's kind of hard to come across kind of paintings like that. It seems like they normally get snatched up right away. So I was like really, really happy to find that. And then the next one is this horse picture. And this is like a fabric. It's like a horse print fabric that's in this frame, which is pretty cool. I've never actually seen this in a picture, but I really like it. And if you guys know me, I love horses. I grew up training horses. I own horses forever. I got rid of my horse when we got married and decided we wanted to start having kids, but I still have a soft spot for horses in my heart. So I really thought I wanted to get a few horse prints or kind of like farm yard or barnyard like horse animal prints for the kids bedroom so this is one of the ones that I would love to put in the kids bedroom here is the next picture this is kind of a cool picture of a barn it's kind of subtle and minimalist tones I really love this one this one I've had hanging in our living room and I've kind of continued to keep changing out that one spot in our living room with different pictures, but I think I've finally settled on putting this one there. It just looks perfect there. For a while I had the horse one there, and then I had the rose painting there, and they just didn't look right with the other things in that room. But this one, I really like the look of, and it's worked out really well. Here we have another barn picture. This is kind of a yellowy toned barn with a windmill in the background. I really like this one. It looks very farmhousey. I actually haven't found a spot for this, but honestly, when I find good things at the thrift stores, I just buy them even if I can't think of a specific spot for them because I might even just save some of the stuff for our next house because most likely, it will, most likely it will be bigger and especially the upstairs rooms will be taller so there'll be more wall space for pictures. So I just, whenever I see a picture, I will buy it if I like it and then I'll either use it or store it for future or I'll sell it on my Etsy shop for thrifted items. I'll take a little break from pictures to show you this cute little 
pie dish that I got. This is a stoneware pie dish. I thought it was just so cute. It has the texture along the edge here, just like regular pie dishes. But even if you don't use this for pies, it's like just the color and the farmhousey kind of simple look would look so good hanging on the wall with like other plates or I, I like I have a colander and a few plates and my cast iron pans hanging up and this would look really cute with the collection of them. I'm not sure if I'll keep it but it was only $2.95 and I'm it's hard to pass that up especially for a stoneware item. Here's a set of oval floral pictures these ones are just so cute. I have I have them hanging in our stairway because I love how especially oval pictures kind of look stacked up along the stairway. So as you go up there just diagonally going up with you. I just love how that looks. They're really old, like this back feels like it's gonna fall out. But I love these. I don't know what it is about oval pictures that just always gets me. I just always love them. I I'm just drawn to them every time, even if like if these were in square pictures, I probably wouldn't have bought them. But something about them being in oval frames, just I, I'm just totally sold. <laughs> Here's another a little larger of a picture, and this is so cute. It's kind of a, a farmhouse with some cattle in the pasture and a horse-drawn wagon, and it's just really pretty picture and a lot of pretty colors and. It's a nice size picture. A lot of the ones that I do find at thrift stores are really li little and tiny. But this is the biggest one I think I've found so far. And I have this on our stairway as well, because when you're coming down the stairs, there's a wall coming partway down and I have it on that wall, like in front of you as you're coming down the stairs. But this just really goes along with the, my style. And Sophia especially loves this picture, my two-year-old daughter. She's always pointing out the cows and she always talks about it every time we go up and down the stairs. It's really cute. Okay. Here we have some kitchen items. I went a little crazy on cups because if you guys didn't know, I like to make my own candles. I will actually link my candle recipes I have on here for you guys, but I'm always on the lookout for different containers I can put candles in. And I found a bunch of these cute little cups. They're little mugs. I just really liked how minimalist they looked. They look kind of old. They don't they don't feel like kind of cheap like the regular mugs do. They feel like sturdy and they they look kind of old and they've got just this little wavy edge on the rim there. But I thought these would be super cute for little candles. So there's seven of these mugs that all look exactly the same. So since there's so many of them, I may end up making candles in all of them and then selling some of them in my Etsy shop, but I just couldn't pass up that they all match and they're just really cute. So I like that because they're just white and plain, no matter what decor you do have, you can put a candle in this and it will just go with it because it's just neutral. Here is a big Christmas coffee mug. This was actually given to me along with some other things I got from a thrift store. She was just really generous and she just gave me this mug along with some stuff. So I have been so enjoying this over Christmas time. Christmas time is over now, but I've spent coffee out of this so many times and it's massive. I can fit so much coffee in here and it's just amazing. This is officially my largest cup and I'm really debating on keeping this out all year, but I feel like if I just put it away until Christmas, it'll feel more special, but I don't know, we'll see. But isn't that like so big and awesome? And I'm just like, a little Christmas obsessed, so this was like perfect thing. And then I also got these adorable copper mugs. Like, aren't these the most awesome thing ever? I just love the look of copper, especially in farmhouse kitchens, which mine is a farmhouse kitchen. So I found these mugs. They're normally so expensive. I think I got them for less than $30 for a set of six mugs. But I got them home and I put some coffee in them, and I realized that at this joint down here where there's a screw through to hold the handle on, they leak. Some of them leak quite fast. So that was very unfortunate, very sad. So I've, de I've been debating on whether or not I will have someone fix them. My husband's cousin actually welds and his wife that I hang out with all the time, she's one of my best friends, but she actually said that he would probably be able to fix these. But, and then I was starting to think these would make adorable candles. We don't really need more mugs, 
So that's what's kind of making me think that they might be better as candles. So I've been debating on whether or not I should have him fix them or if I should just leave them like this and use them as candles. So they've just been sitting in my top shelf of the cabinet until I decide because but I'm definitely not getting rid of them because they're awesome. Like I just love copper mugs. So there's little cups. It's actually on a cookie sheet that I'll show you one up later. There's two of them. I'm not gonna take all these mugs off though to show you this one. I'll just show you the other one. <laughs> okay. So I found some really nice, they look like old cookie sheets. They're just stainless steel. You guys would not believe how hard it is to find plain stainless steel cookie sheets that aren't covered in Teflon coating. Like, oh my gosh, I, it's taken me four years of marriage to find some of these. Like, they're even hard to find on Amazon. Like, you can't even just buy them new a lot of times. I don't even know if these are made anymore. Like, just regular stainless steel basic cookie sheets. So I, I was at the thrift store, and I saw these under a pile of a whole bunch of stuff, and they caught my eye. And I dug them out, and they didn't have a price on them, so I took them up to the lady. I was like, how much for these two cookie sheets? And she's like, oh, how about like 25 cents each? And I was like, sold. Like, that is such a good deal, especially for these kind of cookie sheets. I was like so shocked that she gave me such a good deal. But that's definitely my favorite thrift store. She's just always like giving me awesome deals. I've been so happy to find those because I have cookie sheets, but they're just flat. They don't have the edges. And sometimes you just need edges. So I'm just happy to have more cookie sheets and they've already been used so much. They've come in handy so many times already. I've only had them for like a couple weeks. So that was the end of part one of this thrift haul. Be sure to stay tuned for part two. That will be coming out very soon. But thank you for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy seeing content like this. And make sure you go over to my website and sign up for my email list so you don't miss any updates from us because I'm doing a lot of other things besides just YouTube. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.